in this lesson we will demonstrate how we can hook our code into the uh, event of the uh, model driven app so solution for event one is just the name for the solution then we prepare the event my event one dot js file first we have to define the namespace so whenever we use our function call we will use sdk dot okay this function name would be form on load this dot form on load equal to function execution context so we have to pass the execution context from our model driven page this is get xrm utility get global context user settings username this is the uh, global uh, variable these are the this is the object uh, for getting the username and dot username is the property and some unique id uh, you know here uh, so we are displaying this message set form notification this message will come and then timeout for this window would be 4000 milliseconds that's four seconds okay so form notification it uses this unique id and then to clear the notification so this is our js file very easy in our solution new other web resource my event script one type would be j script choose the file my event one the same javascript which is this we will save publish good new table tbl event 1 create add a column first name save table columns let it deploy it still not ready ah there you go so main form edit form okay. 
events add library new my event script one that's the one we registered that's the web resource we registered then on load event handler see this one pass the execution context this is important sdk dot form on load this is case sensitive done save publish done probably data control f5 because we had opened this page before the publish so control f5 remember that always add record If this error comes, you just close it and then refresh again. I have seen that error coming once in a while. See, hi from Intekar. After four seconds, it's gone. One, two, three, gone. So that's it, man. That's it. Here is where we have added it in the events on load. Click this. This is our this. This we have uploaded the web resource my event script one. Then SDK dot form on load. That's the our function, and it gives the message set form notification and then the timeout clear form notification using this same unique ID. Okay, and this article reference has been used from Microsoft. And uh, once again, uh, the data and record, you will see this message. So we have hooked into the form load event. That's it for this demo.